Hi, I'm Jason. I've been testing cars for a few years and I'm going to walk you around some useful tips which will increase the chances of your car passing its MOT. We're going to have some checks under the bonnet. I'm going to show you a couple of checks with the tyres, some quick interior checks and also some checks on your lights. So a quick check I'm just going to do under the bonnet now is I'm just going to check the oil level of the vehicle. What I do is I find a dipstick, I'll just give that a quick wipe clean, reinsert the dipstick, make sure all the way down to the bottom, put it back out and we're just making sure the level there is not below the minimum uh, and just by the maximum there so you can see that's perfect. If that was below the minimum level that's a good reason that we could refuse to test the vehicle. We're now going to check the coolant level of the vehicle. Before we check the coolant level we just want to make sure the vehicle isn't too hot. We just look between this line and that line and we can see that's perfectly on the maximum so that's absolutely fine. We're going to check the brake fluid level now uh, on this vehicle and uh, here's the brake fluid reservoir. Uh, it will have a minimum line and a maximum line, uh, making sure your brake fluid level is nicely on the maximum line. So we're going to do another check under the bonnet here. This is to check in the windscreen washer level. This is a check that often gets forgotten. It's very simple to do. Find the cap with the windscreen jet washer logo on it. Simply remove it, fill it to the correct level, cap back on. So now we're going to do some quick checks on the tyres. When you're doing the front of the tyre, it's a good idea to put the wheel on full lock. This gives you a really good idea of the inside edge of the tyre. If you haven't got a tread depth gauge, a quick tip is a 20 pence piece. On the ridge on the outside of the 20 pence piece, if you stick that into the tyre, if you can't see the outside ridge, uh, that should be perfectly acceptable for an MOT. So once you check the tread of the tyre, it's a good idea to have a quick look around the sidewall. What you're looking to see is if there's any bulges in the tread or any cuts down in the wall. Have a quick check of the pressures. Feel free to come down and see us. We'll be more than happy to have that checked out for you. Another check you want to do now is your wipers. First thing you want to do is just grab your wiper arms and give them a pull and make sure they're nice and secure. And just make sure the ends are not loose and everything's nice and tight. Once you've done that, lift your blade up. Just have a quick check of the actual blade itself. Just make sure the ends aren't split, nothing's coming away. And then just give it a quick wipe down, get rid of any dirt or anything on there and lower it back onto the screen. So you now want to check that your washer jets are working. So give them a squeeze and just make sure your wipers then clean the screen nicely and they don't leave any smears or any marks on the screen. So after you check your wipers and your washers, the next thing you want to do is have a quick look over your windscreen and just check for any cracks uh, or chips that may be bigger than what the MOT recommend. Uh, on the MOT test we have two sides, you have zone A which is the driver's side and we have zone B which is the passenger's side. There's two different sizes you're allowed. In zone A, the driver's side, you're allowed up to a 10 mm crack or chip and in zone B, which is the passenger side, you're allowed up to a 40 mm crack. So now we're going to do some checks on the interior of the car. When you're sat in the driver's seat, just check it goes forward and backwards locks into its correct position. Next thing you need to check is that your passenger door will open from the inside and also just check that your sun visors don't move when you give them a thump. Also something that doesn't get used that often is the horn so while you're sat here give it a little beep and that's working perfectly. Another thing you need to check if your vehicle's done high mileage is the anti-slip rubber on the brake pedal. Just have a look down here and just make sure there's no metal showing just in case when you took your foot on the brake it may slip off. Something you might want to check while you're sat here is the driver's view of the road. Things like air fresheners or your sat nav and phone holders are classed as an obstruction uh, of the driver's view. So a quick check you want to do on the outside is just walk around the vehicle and just make sure everything opens and shuts. So just check the doors, check the boot, your fuel cap, and just flip the bonnet up. When checking the lighting and signalling on your vehicle, you want to do this individually. First of all, turn on your side lights. Walk around the vehicle and just check they're all working correctly. Then do your dip beam. And then last but not least, your main beam. When checking your main beam, you also want to make sure the telltale sign is working on the dashboard. That tells you that you've got your main beam on. Next, we'd walk around and check the signalling light. When walking round again, also make sure your side repeater is working. That's a common one that gets forgotten. So when checking your lights, the only one you may need a bit of help with would be your rear brake lights. So get someone to stand behind the vehicle and push the pedal and say on 
and off. And just check all your brake lights are working correctly. On, off. So once you check the front of the vehicle, you now want to move round to the rear. Uh, do all the same checks again and just make sure each of the individual lamps are working correctly. One of the most common failures on lights is the number plate light. This one seems to get often overlooked. Number plate lights are situated just here and another one just here. These illuminate your number plate at night. Another light to remember to check is your fog light. You only need one fog light on the driver's side and when you check your fog light, always make sure the telltale sign light illuminates on the dashboard as well. So if you've got any questions related to any of the tips that you've just seen, feel free to pop down to any one of our centres and we'd be more than happy to give you some advice.